What is up all of you awesome and amazing people on YouTube? The old coot here coming at you with another exciting video. So I'm at the second to the last video in this series. Basically, I'm doing a review of these BBGO. There goes my timer. BBGO Korean style crunchy chicken. I'm gonna make this quick because I gotta pull those out of the oven. But basically, uh, this is a Costco buy. You get two packages that are similar or exactly like this, two packages. And then with each within each one of these packages, you get two sauce packets that look like this. So you can go less saucy or more saucy, depending on how saucy you want to be. What I did was I cut open one of these, right? So you, remember, you get two of these, and within each of these, you get two of these. So I cut open one to see how one packet if one packet was enough sauce for what was in there i don't like them overly saucy i like to maintain the crunchiness and if you saw the video just before this one what i showed everybody was how to basically cut once this thing has come back to a liquid state after you boil it i'll show you the cooking instructions in a second basically just try to get it on the edge or on the edges or the sides of your bowl so that when you do put your chicken in you, the chicken's getting attacked from all sides kind of like a warm sweater that wraps around you on a hot, you know, or sorry, a cold winter's night. You get the idea, or like a blanket or whatever. But anyways, you want to try to do one of these two as well, just to get the sauce all around the sides of the bowl before you put your chicken in. Hear that sizzle? ASMR action going. Very sizzly, very sizzly. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the package. By the way, I do like the fact that you get the instructions on the individual packages themselves, right? So remember, you get two of these. I like the fact that the instructions are right here. If you want to take your screenshot, there you go, boom. We did ours in the toaster oven. And the cooking instructions are pretty simple. Basically, preheat the oven to 450. That took, that took about five minutes with my toaster oven. When the light goes on is when I know that it hit the 450. That's how this old school dinosaur works. I'm waiting on a ninja. I want to try to get a ninja toaster oven, the new one so that I can throw this thing <laughs> to a recycling bin or donate it or something. We'll see what happens. But anyways, toaster oven, preheat to 450, place chicken on a single layer, we did that, and then basically cook chicken, preheated oven for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, take it out, flip it. We showed that in video two, I think it was, or three, I can't remember. And then step four is remove chicken, which we're about to do right now. Let me show you all the box. So here's the box, and of course me, I opened it on the wrong end. But uh, Korean style <laughs> crunchy chicken, sweet and spicy sauce. You get a total of three pounds, eight ounces, right? Remember that's split into two packages, right? Whatever that math comes out to. Uh, and then here's your cooking instructions on the box as well. So if you want to take a picture, like one tip or trick I'll tell everybody is if you ever do open one of these, like Trader Joe's, Costco, whatever market you shop at, and the, and the instructions are on the box and it's got like three or four packages inside that don't have the instructions, take a picture. Right. Or cut this out and like, you know, stick this somewhere where you can remember, oh, hey, where, that's where the instructions were. But anyway, same set of instructions right there. Cooking instructions. It's got your air fryer, conventional oven, you know, toaster oven. You get the idea for half the bag only, whatever it is. I, I managed to fit a full bag in into my small little toaster oven. Uh, but anyways, there you go. So there's your discovery. We're sharing all that good stuff, blah, 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 blah. Safety handling. If you get the idea. Uh, and then there's your crunchy chicken on the other side. Here's your nutritional facts. If you're kind of curious, there's your ingredients. If you want to go ahead and take your screenshots and all the good stuff, there's that, right? Time is of the essence here. Trying to keep my, my chicken crispy and warm and toasty. Okay, so there you go. Korean style crunchy chicken. You got the idea. And then remember too as well to do your, your sauce packets. So your sauce packets are going to be frozen, right? When they come out of the freezer. What they're saying is, is you get a some kind of a pot or, or a ladle or something. Sorry, pot. Uh, put some water in there. Boil it basically and then drop your sauce packet in to bring it up to liquid consistency. You're not cooking the sauce. You just want to heat this through so that it thaws and that it becomes in a liquidy state so that you get back to this right here to where you're at liquid sauciness. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull this out of the oven now and I'll show you all what that process looks like. I always try to use one of these lifted thingamajiggies to put the tray onto, right, so that I don't burn or shatter my countertop. I, it's probably rated for like 500 degrees, but you know what? Just as an extra added safety valve, I like to just use one of these lifted thingamajiggies to keep the hot tray off of the cold countertop. So here we go. And also make sure to use like pot holders or some kind of, you know, hand mittens or whatever so that you don't burn yourself when you do this. So I'm going to open the lid, pull my tray out. Uh, and they are looking pretty crispy if you ask me. I'm going to grab a corner. And just do this and transfer them over. 
Close your oven door, very important as well. There you go. Okay, so we're back to here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm literally just gonna take these out. Uh, by the way, I did use the middle rack or the middle setting of the rack so that the heat comes from the bottom and doesn't burn the bottom. And also it, it allows a closer placement to that hop to that top heating element so that you get the crispiness, like almost like a salamander, you know, broil type effect on the top so that the, the chicken pieces themselves come out nice and crispy. So that's why I do that. And also, if you're curious which element to use, like the top heating element or the bottom, I use both. That's how I have my toaster oven set. So anyways, OXO Good Grips tongs, right? We're gonna use these. What I wanna do is just kinda just give them a little pull and see how there was like just very little stickage, right? I can even throw these in for another five minutes if I really wanted to, but we're gonna test them now with a digital thermometer to see how well and done they are. So just a little bit of stickage, but not too bad, which is kind of what we want. I did not oil this, right? The, these have enough oil as it is, trust me. I didn't oil the tin foil before I put the chicken on. You could, like if you're making, you know, potatoes, right? Something that's gonna be a little more starchy and that's gonna stick. Like if you're doing sweet potato fries or if you're doing like frozen, frozen French fries, you get the idea. You may want to oil that tin foil as well. It just makes cleanup a little bit easier. So let me go ahead and do ThermoPro, right? Digital meat thermometer. Open this up and here we go. We're looking for 165. 165 is how I know that it's done. I'm going to go ahead and probe. And obviously we're above 165. So we're totally fine. I know that this is cooked. By the way, when you do get the chicken, it is completely raw. I showed that to you in the video uh, the first video that I did in this series, the chicken is completely raw. It's not cooked and you're just rewarming it. Remember, you are cooking the chicken, so it is raw. So you need, that's why you need that 20 minutes at 450 degrees to cook it. Let me go ahead and just test one other piece just to make sure we're golden. There you go, 198. So yeah, we're definitely cooked and we're good to go. Anyways, if you have any questions, you can post them down in the comment section. I will put links to these kitchen products down there below in the description section. Let me go ahead and do this with two hands. I'm gonna transfer my chicken into the bowl, stir it all up, give it one nice rotation here to make sure the sauce is all on the sides when I do that. And I'll be back with the last video. We're gonna sauce it up and then plate it and then taste it and we'll do all that in the next video hit that like button hit the subscribe button if you like what you're seeing i'm the old coot and i'll catch you all in the next exciting video